Hi, this is Eric from Topaz Labs. In this video tutorial, we'll go through one of the biggest advantages of Topaz Remask, which is how to quickly refine your mask to get the best results possible. No mask tool is perfect the first time around. All masking efforts require a certain refinement in one way or another. The great thing that is unique to Topaz Remask is that it recognizes this need and makes it extremely easy and even fun to do. Central to the theme of refining masks is the inclusion of the Topaz Magic Brush in the Remask software. The Topaz Magic Brush instantly refines a section of your mask based on your keep and cut brush strokes. For example, if you notice that a certain image feature in your photo is not included in the mask, simply enable the Magic Brush and paint over a small section of that feature with keep, in order to instantly add the whole thing to your mask. You don't have to be extremely accurate. The Topaz Magic Brush is smart enough to determine how to refine the area based on the characteristics of your brush stroke. Here's a quick example of how this works and why this is so effective. Here is a very, very hard image to mask. Not only does it have frizzy hair, but the background is also extremely similar to the foreground. This is almost impossible to mask using other tools that don't have the refining abilities as robust as Remask. Let's give it a go with Remask and the Topaz Magic Brush. As you can see when we bring the image into Remask, the whole thing is currently filled with green, or the keep color. The first thing we do is create a preliminary mask to base our refinements on, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. If you have any questions about this part of the process, please see some of our other videos or take a look at the user's manual. Note that you don't have to be very accurate for the preliminary mask, it's just something to base our refinements off of. Do realize though that the more process or blue areas you have, the longer Remask will take to process them. So here's our basic mask. If we look in the other views, we can see that there's quite a bit of refinement we need to do. To start off, I'll select my Keep brush and make sure that the Topaz Magic brush is checked. I'll just focus on this part of the photo for now. I'll go through this part of the photo and systematically paint small brush strokes of green and red onto the image where I want to refine the keep and cut areas. Switching between the views for accuracy is important especially for this image, and knowing that the keys Q and E switches between the keep and cut brushes helps a lot too. Notice that in each brush stroke, Topaz Magic Brush updates a small section around that stroke based on what you specified in that stroke. If there's a part that you want to keep, Paint over it with Keep so Topaz Magic Brush knows that similar areas around it are meant to be kept as well. Same goes for the Cut Brush. It's really a very exciting technology that offers a completely new masking experience. A nice thing about Remask is that the five different views offer a complete picture of your mask in relation to the original image, and is invaluable for a refinement. Use the first tab, the Image tab, to see what the original looked like before any mask or refinements. The Trimap tab is used to see a complete view of the mask, marks, and original image, but may be a bit confusing or unclear with all the markings on it. In that case, we have the Mask tab, which gives us a good idea about the continuousness and smoothness of the overall mask. Finally, we have the Keep and Cut views. In the Keep view, you can easily see the parts of the image that you need to cut out when you're refining the mask. In the Cut view, you can easily see the parts that you still need to keep when refining the mask. Switching between the views is desirable on many images and can be easily done by pressing the keys 1 through 5 on your keyboard. Personally, I do this a lot when making my masks as it gives me a complete picture of what I need to do at any given time. This is why you see me continually flipping between the different view modes, which may seem hectic when you're watching on a video tutorial, but is actually very intuitive when you're actually working on the mask. You don't have to do this, of course, but in my personal opinion, it does help. So in just a few minutes, I've managed to create a very acceptable mask for this section of the extremely difficult to mask image. The great thing about Remask is that, from here, I can decide to refine it even further if time permits, or just move on to a new section. The whole image can be done this way, and the quality of the mask only gets better the longer you spend on it. So, to reiterate, the common workflow for Remask is as follows. First, create an approximate mask using the brush and fill tools, and then hit Process Mask. Second, use the Topaz Magic Brush to easily refine those areas that you're not happy with. Paint with a small brush and make sure you paint accurately. 
Do this until you're happy with your mask. The photo that I used in this demo is actually a worst case image when it comes to masking. If you have better contrast in your image, you'll find that refining goes much quicker and with fewer brush strokes. I just wanted to show you something that was really hard. Please feel free to try this technique on your own images and let us know how it works for you. For more tutorials and information about Remask or to download a free trial, please visit our website at www.topazlabs.com forward slash remask. Thanks.